What's going on everybody? It's Eric Ray with a back here with another Madden 21 video. Today I'm going to be going over these seven kind of secret things that were updated in Madden 21, but they haven't been talked about, not even by EA themselves. These are things that I noticed from playing the game these last few days, uh, little tidbits, little kind of Easter egg type things that were updated or changed, and these are things that you'll want to know if you're going to be picking up the game. Now, these aren't big features or anything crazy to write home about, but they are things that some of you will want to know about when you play the game or might want to look into. Now, if you're new to the channel and you always want to be up to date on the latest mad news, know what's going on, or mad tips to improve your game, make sure to subscribe, turn on the bell icon so that you never miss any of these important uploads when they go live. Now let's get into the list. Number one on the list is the New England Patriots NFL Live Playbook. NFL Live Playbooks were added to the game last year. It's a second version of each team's playbook. So each team has their stock playbook and then they have the NFL Live Playbook which gets updated throughout the year based on what the teams are running, new plays, new formations, whatever the case may be. Now when you're picking your team and you pull up the playbook screen, you can toggle the NFL Live playbook on and that will give you the NFL Live version of their playbook. Now many of you obviously by now should know that the Patriots recently signed Cam Newton. So their, their stock playbook for Madden 21 is the same playbook that it's been for years when they had Tom Brady and things like that. But now that they have Cam Newton, obviously certain things in the offense are going to switch a little bit because he's got the mobility. He's definitely going to be used as a running weapon at QB. So what they did was since the stock playbook is already, you know, in effect, they weren't necessarily planning uh, for you know what the QB change was going to be there they knew Brady wasn't going to be there but they figure with Belichick you know the scheme might stay the same but when you bring in a guy like Cam Newton obviously things are going to change so in the NFL live playbook they've actually added some of the stuff that used to be in the Carolina Panthers playbook most notably the Panther heavy formation which is now Patriot heavy so it's actually really interesting because now the the New England NFL live playbook is like a combination of the New England regular playbook and some of the great things that were in the Panthers playbook for the last few years because of Cam Newton. So that actually makes this playbook extremely interesting if you're going to use a mobile quarterback because you're going to have a ton of great passing stuff that you've always loved from this playbook, but now you're going to have all the good running QB stuff that's been added. So this is definitely something you should check out if you're a person that likes to change up your playbooks. This is really interesting and you should definitely look into it. Today's video is sponsored by Raycon. Look, I don't know about you guys, but I don't feel like you should ever have to pay upwards of $200 for quality wireless earbuds. Nah, that's where Raycon comes in, a company that was actually founded by Ray J with the goal of delivering premium wireless sound that beats the competition in quality and costs half the price. Their latest model, the Everyday E25s, are their best one yet. These things come with six hours of playtime per charge, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and they have a compact design that gives you a noise isolating fit. I can't wear anything else when I jog now because they never fall out of my ears and that's a problem I've had with tons of other wireless earbuds on the market. And they come in a ton of cool colors so you can get the exact look that you want. Stop paying for overpriced earbuds and click the link in the description to go to buyraycon.com slash rayweather to get 15% off of your order. Number two on the list, we're going to go to the equipment really quickly because I know there's a lot of equipment heads out there and everybody keeps asking me, what's the new equipment in the game? What has been added? Now, I'll say that this year it doesn't look like there was a whole lot of equipment added, but number two on the list are the Oakley visors, which most of you might know about now because as these gameplay videos have come out, you know, myself and others have pointed them out already, so you might know it. But if you didn't know, the Oakley visors are finally added to the game, which is definitely a nice touch. Uh, they definitely look cool. A lot of players are starting to wear them now. You have the clear version and then you have the prism version which is kind of like that reddish look that a lot of players wear in the league now so you can equip these to your players they are added to the game now number three on the list sticking with equipment this was the only other piece of equipment that i was able to find that i knew for 100 percent fact was something new and that is the jordan 10 cleats you have the high top version and the low top version so in previous games you had the jordan 11 and the jordan 1 now they have added the jordan 10 to that as well now i have been told that there were some glove updates and there might even be another set of, of cleats or two but i just don't 100 percent know for sure which ones they are so i'm not going to point them out if i don't know what they are but if you're an equipment head you'll probably be able to figure it out very quickly once you get the game but specifically wanted to point out the Oakley visors and the Jordan 10 cleats as those are for sure uh, the two biggest additions to equipment this year number four on the list are running back option routes now these haven't really been talked about a whole lot they had a screenshot of them 
on the website when they talked about playbook but they didn't really talk too much about them and this is a really great new route that has been added to the game for the running back it's mostly found in different trips type sets and shotgun but this is very much so the type of option routes that a lot of those good receiving backs in the league run today like christian mccaffrey alvin Kamara, james white these guys are on these option routes very often because they're pretty skilled at route running and it's kind of their choice the you know the qb and with these running backs they kind of give them that freedom and the coach gives them that freedom to say it's your choice you pick do you want to go inside do you want to go outside do you want to spot up because they're good at reading the coverage and kind of figuring out where their leverage is and where they want to attack and these are in the game now in a ton of playbooks in different trip sets you just have to look through them and see which plays have them a lot of the passing plays have this route by the running back now which is great because if it's a man uh, type defense a lot of times they're going to cut inside sometimes they'll cut outside but those are really good man beating routes however when it's a zone defense they're going to spot up and kind of just play like a curl assignment and if you have a good route running and catching running back you're going to want to utilize plays that have these new routes in the game because it just makes those plays a lot better and just simply more realistic because that's the type of routes that these guys are running in the NFL these days. Number five on the list is the new kicking changes. So this is kind of maybe a subtle thing. They didn't really talk about much, but very important thing to know. So number one, kicking the ball just in general this year when you're talking about field goals. A um, little bit harder in terms of accuracy. I talked about this in a previous video where I actually missed an extra point, funny enough. Uh, because typically when you kick an extra point, you don't think that much about it. You know that as long as you're somewhere kind of close to the accuracy, it goes in. But that's not the case this year. If you're just a little bit too far off, you're probably going to miss. And especially on those longer field goals, they're making accuracy more of a focal point in kicking this year. Which I do think is a good thing because people forever have just been able to hit long field goals pretty easily in Madden. Now the accuracy, there's much more of a penalty for not being perfect. And if you're, you know, if you're still pretty damn close, you're going to hit it. But if you're just, just a little bit too far away whereas some of those would have definitely went in in the past they're not going to go in now the kick meter itself even just feels a little bit harder to time right i don't know if it's the color scheme on it but i've heard other people say this as well it just the kicking meter definitely feels a little bit weird this year and a little bit more difficult now going along with these kicking changes are the kickoff changes which now when you try to kick the ball kind of weird to try to put the ball in a weird spot to kind of glitch out the return guys this has been known as the scum kick in past years where you could place the ball in a perfect spot with a certain type of accuracy and the ball would just bounce in such a way and the, the return man would react to it in such a way where it would a lot of times cause them to have to you know because this game is so dependent on animations right uh he would pick up the ball and kind of run out of bounds at like the five yard line or the ball would bounce back and it would force him to sometimes take a safety because it would just land in that perfect spot now because of this they've added something to where if you try to kick the ball off weird like that like in these weird spots that no nfl kicker would ever put it right no nfl kicker is trying to put the ball you know a yard from the sideline on the five yard line because in real life it's going to go out of bounds the majority of the time and then the team's gonna get the ball at the 40 so now in order to prevent this they've kind of added a, a thing where if you do these weird kickoffs it's going to make the ball skid a little bit more and kind of you know go out of bounds or go really wild somewhere and it's not going to be beneficial for you as the kicking team to really kick the ball this way number six on the list is probably my favorite as an online player they have now limited the amount of times you can pause the game so in old maddens you could pause five times per half now that has been lowered to two times per half which is a really big deal because a lot of times people get annoying online if they know they can't win the game if they can tell early that hey they're not going to win the game a lot of people will just try to delay the game and pause it over and over and over just to drag the game out and make it take longer because they're aggravated the other part of this is a lot of times over the last few years this has become a trend where when someone gets fluked out in the game meaning they drop a pick or they drop a pass or maybe they overthrow a pass they'll pause the game as a way of saying look I just got cheated like it's kind of an immature thing people have started to do and it just it's super annoying and it just drags these games out people just want to get on with the games but a lot of people just continuously pause over and over so now they have limited the amount of times you can pause which i think is a big w and now you kind of have to hold on to those pauses because you might have to take a bathroom break or something like that but if you're just running through your pauses being weird you're not going to have any in case you need them so that is actually a small thing but something i think will improve the quality of life for online play 
And number seven on the list are these two sneaky new formations that they snuck in the game and didn't tell us about. The first one is called the iForm Z Close, and we're going back to the Patriots NFL Live version of the playbook to look at this. Uh, you can see it looks like iForm Close, except the left receiver is split out a little bit wider. It's actually a pretty nice formation. It has a couple decent passing plays, has some good running plays in it. Definitely something you can use under center to audible around into other formations, which is always kind of a popular under center tactic, having a stable of formations. But this is a nice new addition to the game this is also i believe in the cleveland browns nfl live playbook as well and now very similar to this we have the strong z close which to my knowledge i've only seen this in the jets playbook it could be in others i don't know but very similar to the i form close except it's the strong z close uh, with the fullback obviously split out a little bit wider offset now uh, again got a couple good passing plays good running plays in it so it's always nice to see any new formations in the game it's something we all love we want new plays we want new formations we want new things to mess around with and run in our game so if you're looking for some new things here's a couple little sneaky new ones that have been added to the game more playbook updates are supposed to come a couple of times at least throughout the year but for now these are a couple new ones you can mess with when you get your hands on the game that's going to be all for today i hope you guys enjoyed this video found it helpful if you did as always like comment subscribe and as always i will see you guys next time